Hello guys, how's it going? So this video is long far overdue, which is a battle video of the latest uh, two decks from set 3, which is the Dragons versus the Goblin deck. Obviously the Goblin deck is the newest addition to the game, um, and, I'll, and in this video I'm also going to be um, over voicing this with some other background voice as well uh, later on in the video, because it gets quite comedic. So. Starting off, uh, I will be play I am on the left playing the dragon deck, whereas my girlfriend is playing the deck on the right, the goblin deck, and she wins the roll to begin the game. So, at certain points I will be speeding this video up for the sake of the length of the video. I don't want you guys hanging around for no particular reason, so as you can see the screen is sped up uh, about four times. And of course, um, I've started recording in 4K now and exporting in 4K, so by all means, click that 4K button if you've got a 4K screen. So, Sarah takes play and gets a terrain now on turn 1. This also generates her core. Her core will charge whenever any terrain card is played, and when she gets so many charges, she can change the colour of the element on her core. So she gets a, she gets a volcano on turn 1, and um, doesn't have enough to play anything. So then it passes to my turn. I play a volcano as well. Um, ignore the die on my card, that was done in error, um, because I was for some reason I thought I also had the same core as what she had, but just ignore that, I'll take it off my core card in a minute. Um, but again, I can't play anything turn 1, so then I pass the turn to Sarah. Now, she gets, um, she pulls one of the special terrain cards in the deck, which is Mount Haram. This allows her to generate red or green uh, element whenever it, at the start of your turn. Very, uh, these are quite powerful cards because obviously it gives you that variability between the elements what you can choose to play. You may also notice as well that I kind of reveal my hand to the camera so that you guys can see what I've actually got in my hand. So looking at this, we've got um, a terrain card, a couple of dragons, and I also believe I have a wonder as well. So the first unit out in play is the Goblin Wanderer. This is a two-cost cheap unit. Um, it's a pretty, pretty basic unit to be fair. It's a common, um, doesn't have great stats, but the aim of the Goblin deck is to get units out pretty early on. So she should really be playing... A unit card at the start, uh, pretty much every single turn. Um, so she passes the turn to me. I am lucky enough to get a green element. Now, don't forget the the deck of the dragon era has got. It's probably the hardest deck ever created, and it is three elements strong. So we've got red, blue, and green. So I play a Highlands, what offers me a green element at the start of my next turn, and I get to play a. I think it's a Scouting Wyvern. Um, which again is another common unit. So we pass this, we pass the turn over to Sarah, who can now start playing a few more cards. So she beefs up the Goblin Wanderer with a spiked club, what gives it a nice little attack boost. And um, and there is also uh, another unit in play I can't see because of the sun glare, uh, but she decides to attack with the Goblin Wanderer and the spiked club. Now I decide to block with the Hunting Wyvern. Now the attacker will always roll first, so there she goes, and she hits. So she has got 500 damage in her pool. I roll for mine, and mine hits as well, which is only 300 strong. Now don't forget her goblin is stronger because of the club. So this should technically, uh, I believe this would cause a trade of units, which gets basically puts me back to zero units. If you play the game, you will pretty much know that you need to keep your opponent's terrain cards clear of any units uh, to be able to stand a chance. Because obviously with no units, there's no, def no, there's no chance of defenders, and then the damage can go straight to the core. So she passes the turn to me. I play a lake, and then I decide to use up two <laughs> elements uh, to play another Hunting Wyvern. So she thought she got rid of one, uh, she can think again, because a second one has just been played. So then I pass the turn back to her. She generates her elements. She's currently in the lead by one hack buff. <laughs> so we're just skipping forward there a little bit. So she's paying uh, two elements to play a goblin uh, rock thrower, rock keeper. Um, and this card can allow you to deal direct damage. Um, see the little red box on the goblin rock thrower. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember what the what the trigger was. The, what the trigger was, but it can deal direct damage to a unit in play. Then she passes the turn back to me, deciding not to attack. Paying four elements here now, we get the wonder card out, which is Draconic Sense. This card is 
Although it costs three elements, which is quite pricey, this allows you to look at the top four cards of your deck whenever you play a dragon card, and then you can put them back in any order, including the bottom of the deck. I decide to attack and swing with a Hunting Wyvern, which is a nice six. Um, that will be, I believe that increases its attack power up to 500. Um, and it looks like she's defending. Unfortunately, it's a miss, which means the unit is still in battle, I can kill it off, but this Goblin Rockkeeper deals zero damage. So I've got enough damage to kill off the Rockkeeper, and then 200 damage overflows to, to the enemy core. This now puts me in the lead by 100 points. And then pass the turn back to her, causing her to generate her elements and draw a card. So, here she goes, paying a red and a green element to put the Spikes Club back on the, back on the basic goblin unit on the left hand side. Cool thing about weapons is they don't truly get destroyed until the word destroy a weapon <laughs> is actually thrown into play. So that weapon will keep coming back to her hand whenever the unit dies. Um, I don't, I do believe I don't have any unit cards, uh, sorry, any action cards in my hand um, what can deal with the weapon, so that is going to be a problem for me. And she is deciding to attack and swing in with a, unit, with a goblin and I decide to defend with a hunting weapon. So again, if she hits, which she does, um, that's 500 damage, which is, which is enough to kill off my Wyvern, and I've got 400 damage as well. So I believe that's another trade. So mine's definitely destroyed. And there goes the other unit. So as you can see, the weapon card goes back to her hand, and um, she actually has a bit of overflow damage now, so she deals 200 damage, which puts her back in the lead by another 100 points. This is the reason we play half HP a lot, because it does take a while until you get you until you start getting your power units into play. Now the camera was just a little bit out of view, um, so to the bottom of the screen I do actually have a no man's land with a castle top wyvern occupying it. Castle top wyvern I think is a 500 attack power base, uh, and because it's sat on the no man's land it basically means whenever it attacks I get to look at the top two cards of my deck and put one into my hand and then one somewhere uh, at the top or bottom of my deck. Obviously the castle top is triggered Draconic Sense, which I get to look at the top four cards. I decide to keep one of the, I think it's the dragon fire at the top of the deck, and then I put the rest at the bottom which are not needed. And as you can see in my hand, I've actually got a dragon queen in the middle card of my hand set. I've also got a vicious, I think it's a vicious slash, which is on the left, which if it manages to kill a unit, it, it removes it from the game. Uh, pass the turn back to Sarah, and she gets to play a goblin chain. Uh, I think it's a swing, a uh, goblin swinger, <laughs> which swings. Which you can see it's swinging from some kind of uh, chandelier. <laughs> but again, that's another common unit. So she only seems to be pulling common units at the moment, which is which is a shame. But she does have that spiked club, which will always give that unit an extra attack bo uh, attack buff. I think it's about 200, 300 unit attack power, something like that. Um, and then passes the turn back to me. Obviously she's not attacking because I've got the castle top wyvern on the bottom most um, terrain, what you can't see. Don't worry about it, I do change the camera angle shortly, um, in a couple of minutes time, which where you can start to see the full battlefield. Uh, Dragonfire causes uh, a nice little action card, little burn spell. Deals 300 damage to a unit and it kills it off. Uh, now then I decide to attack with a castle top, which is just out of you. Um, that will allow me to look at the top two cards in the deck, put one into my hand, and I put the other one to the bottom of the deck. And she decides to defend with the goblin which has got the spiked club. So now I swing and deal uh, 600 damage in my pool. And then waiting for her to roll. She hits as well, which is 500 damage. So as you can see there the numbers are starting to get quite high. We're, we've moved out of the, the 1 and 200 attack power cards. We're starting to move up to 500 plus and this is kind of where the game starts to speed up a little bit because more units are dying and more damage is being dealt to the enemy core. <laughs> so we have an overflow of another 200 damage. That has again <laughs> changed um, positioning which has put me back in the lead by 100 points. So, passing the turn, she generates her elements and then she will draw her card. 
Playing down a, a Highlands, which is another green terrain. So she's got um, three, three terrain cards out now to the right of a core. She's nearly maxed out the, the, uh, the terrain cards. And I am one card off maxing out my terrains as well. Now, as I said earlier, I will only be voicing over about half of this video um, because <laughs> the the in-game the in-game audio the in-game voice chat is actually quite funny <laughs> uh, because the, it does start perking up a bit uh, about halfway through the video, so I won't be here for long. Um, but that was a volcanic activity, I believe, which um, it's a volcanic or a lava soak. It's one of the two, um, and it looks like it dealt enough damage to kill off. The next goblin card, which is just put into play, so it's very unfortunate. But uh, well, for her, that we we are pulling the um, burn cards. There's not too many. Obviously, it's a dragon deck. There's going to be burn cards, <laughs> but there's you know there's only, I think there's only about four of them in the deck. Looking at my hand there, it looks like we've still got the dragon queen and the battlefield dragon as well, which are two rather meaty cards. So passing the turn back to her, we've got a gold sniffer. Now the gold sniffer allows her to generate an element. Um, I think it was at the start of every turn you get to generate an element, so she could move the gold sniffer to other terrains um, to do so as well. And obviously she equips it, she got more than enough elements to equip it with, with the spiked club. You know, it's only a common rarity, but it plays its part. It's nice and easy to get into play. And you pr uh, and you practically uh, got a nice little attack booth. Boff. Passing to my turn, I get my final terrain, what's required, which is the jungle, as you could probably hear me chanting on the screen then. <laughs> uh, element won't start, won't generate till next turn. So then we pass the turn back to Sarah. And she draws a card. And here comes the camera. I think this is the camera movement now. Trying to squeeze in that no man's land interview. <laughs> there we go. So obviously now you can start to see a little bit more of the, the play area. My curly, my curly COVID mop. Okay, so she's swinging. I've got no defenders, so this is good. this looks like it's going to go straight through, which is five hundred damage. Um. Yep, five hundred damage to me, which has now put her in the lead. <laughs> so um, I'm down to twenty five hundred, and she is now four hundred points in the lead. So uh, she's starting to get a bit of a game on me now. So I really need to start either playing some really good cards. Um, well, I do need to start playing some really good cards, because if I don't, I can't keep taking 500 damage per turn. Oh, I'll only have five turns left. So it looks like I'm playing something. This is going to be the Dragon card. There's the Dragon Queen. <laughs> so the Dragon Queen, whenever she enters and or dies, allows you to search your deck for a card called Dragon Egg. That's like a nice easy find. Um, and then that will allow me to reduce the cost of my next Dragon card by one element of any colour. Which is a very, very useful card, especially to get out the Emperor Dragon. Uh, and then we're still continuing to play cards, which is a Dragon Chest Piece. <laughs> this gives a nice little HP boof, boost, I think it's I think it's 400 HP, uh, 300 HP, which tots up the Dragon Queen's HP is now 800 HP. So, ooh, <laughs> we, uh, this is where the Dragon Queen is going to start tanking up. Um, I don't think Sarah's goblin at the moment is strong enough to kill off a Dragon Queen. Obviously playing the Dragon Queen allows me to play, um, to trigger Draconic Sense as well. Uh, which allows me to look at the top four and then put them back in any order basically. And any scrap cards can go to the bottom of the deck. A very useful card, but obviously it's, it's tri-coloured. Um, yeah, so it looks like we've still got the Battlefield Dragon yet to play. The Vicious Slash or the Vicious Sweep. Whatever it's called, <laughs> and, a, and a spare terrain, but we can always discard down later on in the game. So, looks like we passed the turn to Sarah, who couldn't do anything, and then it comes back to me. So, let's have a look now. So, we've got two elements and two green elements. Looks like I'm going to be playing the Battlefield Dragon. There we go. Obviously, given its name, this is a this is a very aggressive unit. It's an uncommon. But uh, I think it's a 500 attack unit with some buffing abilities on it as well whenever you roll a die. Um, and it looks like I've just drawn 
into is that a carry away a carry away and an ice beam which retracts units from battle so that's always very very useful when it comes to um, messing about with your opponent's defensive uh, units so we're going to declare an attacker I think Sarah's just going to block this because she doesn't want the damage coming through I roll and it's a miss <laughs> Sarah rolls and it is also a miss is it? Oh, it might be a hit it's a hit, but regardless of its damage value, it is not enough to kill off a Dragon Queen. So she is going to need to get a couple more units in, into play to be able to kill off that unit. Either that or um, play a couple of action cards. And there's one. Ankle Grab. <laughs> ankle Grab deals direct damage to a unit. Two Ankle Grabs. <laughs> so he's literally grabbed both ankles of my uh, Hunting Dragon and, and yanked it over. Uh, anyway, guys. Um, this is where it starts getting quite unique now, it starts getting quite fun. Um, she kills off a battlefield dragon and then we start getting some more fun cards. So I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna stop the video here so that you can listen to our in-game reactions when it comes to playing cards and winning and losing. Again. <laughs> Stupid woman. <laughs> Your turn. Club him up, he then comes into his cave. <laughs> <laughs> <That's wild. laughs> you got a mining with a pickaxe and a club. Enter my cave. <laughs> and then it's now pumping strength. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks for telling me what you've got. Mm -hmm. I don't 
Everybody needs them. <laughs> right, another attack. But I'm also going to play a battle card. Red, red, multicolored. So a violent slash. And your report deals 200 damage to a unit. Which I believe yours is exactly too easy as a violent slash to kill. So then that unit dies. Big man is coming into play again. Hopefully she won't miss this time. <laughs> <laughs> Do something, woman! <laughs> Just that. You useless old bint! <laughs> Just sat there on her eggs. What she's doing? Like, I might, I might. I don't, I don't feel like it today. <laughs> the crafts. Grab yeah, but your bloody ankle grab the bloody main thing. <laughs> Go, yeah, thing. Yeah, might as well, because she's only four HP. So what I'll do then is I'll play two. You don't need to keep that so HP. Icy beam. <laughs> Which acts as a bow so it can't defend. So the damage will go straight through and hopefully the stupid bint will hit. Five. She gets an extra 100 HP, which is useless. So that's 400 damage to yours. And it's your turn. I'm going to declare a herd attacker, but then I'll use a battle card for another violent slash. So it deals 200 damage and then it's retracted. So she deals, so that deals no damage. So it'll take 200 off that, which will take it down to 200 HP. So you can't roll, but then the Dragon Queen will roll. And she actually hits to prevent the next 500 damage. Which is a bit useless because she's been a bloody retracted. So that will die. So. No, you go. I'll play a red and a green. So you drag in the chest plate. with the Dragon Queen. Any defenders? Uh, no, I'll get rid of it. Okay, in that case I will ambush. I'll ambush him to play Enrage. Which is a attack him. Triggering no man's land. So then, and that will also trigger Draconic Sense. One, two, three, four. Um, roll into this one. Five, gain 100. 
HP, they both get 100 HP. And that one for 5, this is a regular hit, so you've got 3, 4, 9, 1000. <laughs> 1000 damage. getting quite big. <laughs> oh, <Ooh>, Nelly! <laughs> I need to pack. Well, defend. Don't know what I'm doing. You're attacking. I'm packing. Pack. Alright, I'll defend with both of these. So then I'll also... He's also got no... Uh, he's only got 200 HP, so you're all down. We'll all do it down, yeah. I'll play a battle card. I'll carry away. <laughs> Retract any unit from battle before damage is divided. The damage contribution is now removed. Why do you just keep keep taking off your characters? So he, they attack. <laughs> so he won't one rule, but we we will. As long as one of them hits, and she's missed. And he's missed as well. No. <laughs> so we all survive. That just goes. Is that the news now? Draconic Stance. Oh, and I'll attack with these two. That will trigger no man's land. And the defenders. Um, you're going to block. Five hits with extra HP. Two typical miss. <laughs> so I'm gonna roll for yours. Yours is a hit, so I've got 400 damage, which will. Is that HP? 406, no, it's HP to attack, so you should be able to. So yeah, so one into the core. And what's the attack value on that? Um, Three, four, five, five six. six. So it's not enough to kill it. So that dies and you take a hundred. Yay. I keep losing my characters, that's why I don't want to do that fight. Yeah. I don't mind if I lose. <laughs> the king. Goblin king. <laughs> you may play a weapon card for free. <laughs> Dragon, which will trigger Draconic Stance. Oh, you need to stop playing this bloody game. And then it goes red. I'm gonna take two off that to give them all a 100 attack boost and attack with three of them. Oh, that will trigger God. No Man's Land, which 
Don't forget to put one of these in the hand. And do a single move. Don't kill off the king! <laughs> You're gonna block with the king. So, roll for this one. A two! Oh, it just about hit. Woo! Oh, I've not played its bloody ability. It ends the ability from the last turn. Then comes into play, you can play a dragon or a wyvern unit for free. Oh yeah. <laughs> And then that would have triggered Draconic Sense twice. <laughs> so that hurts. Pre prevent the next 500 damage to any one dragon or unit and will target. Um... <laughs> I'll target the one. The one, the one thing that I can actually hit. Yes, yeah, so that's now 800 HP. And that one misses. So you've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1300 damage coming. So I'm going to roll for that one. He's not really laughing, he's not really laughing, he's alive, is he? <laughs> so 1300 minus 600, that's 700 damage to the core. Is that correct? Yep. So it's dead, and 700 to the core. Well, he didn't do much, Mr. King. <laughs> he came out, was going on, boom, <laughs> straight to the face. Oh, no, it's an extra, uh, we're getting an under, extra 100 attack boost as well from the bloody core. So we'll take, we'll take that minus 200 off that as well. Hmm. One more swing go to do it. Your turn. Go on. Oh, 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 Finish oh. it off. I'll oh, throw all the elements in the jar. So I can play red, red, green, green, castle, court, wyvern. So you get to get in there. And charge is off. And then we're gonna attack, 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 attack. That will trigger no man's land, which can go under. Roll in for that one. If it hits, it's game. And he gives 100 attack and HP, so it's 8, 9, 1000 damage just with that one unit. You did good, kid, real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll only ever be second best, eh? <laughs> mm -hmm. And that was my hand. I had Volcanic, Lava Soap, Castle Cop, and Skeleton Dragon. What did you have in your hand? Coward. Cowardly escape. That spike club that Chris keeps getting and the hideout. No, <laughs> there's nothing to put in it. I just, just rub it. Going to a spike 